It's defund forever for the radical left as President Biden and other Democrats desperately try to get away from the movement that is political kryptonite. Squad member Cori Bush, whose own car got riddled with bullets during the crime wave, is refusing to stop using the slogan ahead of the midterms, saying, quote, to fund the police is not the problem. We dangled the carrot in front of people's faces and said we can get it done and that Democrats deliver when we haven't totally delivered. Meantime, the liberal crime free for all continues. Who needs to worry about Biden inflation when you can just steal to your heart's content? The New York Post capturing this guy nabbing 10 steaks from a trader, Joe's. I don't know, Judge, if I, my ride got riddled with bullets, I might think twice about defunding police. Well, you know, when she was asked that question, not that specific one, but when she was asked, you know, about the hypocrisy of it all, and I'm so tired of using that word, I want to, like, put it away for the rest of the year. But when she was asked, you spent over $300,000 for your own security, her response to that is, you want to see me dead? Is that what you want? You want to see me dead? <laughs> her life is okay. more important than everyone else's. Right. That's what people don't right. understand. But So you have to say to yourself, what is going on here? What is going on that we're masking our kids when we know that they're emotionally suffering as a result of it? What is going on that the mom and pop stores are being shut down and the big box stores are being saved? You know, like, what is going on when you've got truckers all over the world now? You've got Canada, you've got the United States, France, other countries. Are str People are saying, we want to be able to work we want to be able to live our lives in freedom, and we want law and order. And these people who brought in this social justice nonsense have ruined it. The truth is, we knew how to fight law and order. We knew it a long time ago. And now they want to just eliminate it and talk about defunding police while other people die. Last point. I'd like to know, in the inner city, in New York City, in any other city, how many, how many uh, people of color have died as a result of taking out street crime, street crime units or anti-crime units. You know, what is the impact on real people as opposed to these criminals running around or a guy with 16 priors uh, for robbery, assault, and burglary, takes a baseball bat, winds himself up, and beats an Asian woman across the head from behind. She's got a fractured skull, unconscious in several places. Who knows if she'll live? He's been charged with 16 other crimes. Look at him right there, winding yeah, and, down. Yeah, and, and Greg, he went out after bashing her skull in and grabbed a slice of pizza. What is with this attack on Asians? I mean, we, it's the one, yeah. we, we, the media used to talk about this when they thought they had the, the, the appropriate narrative that they liked. And then all of a sudden, the races change. You can't, no one brings it up. But it is overwhelming how many times you hear about Asian, elderly Asian, Asian women. Asian it's it's women. really. And a black perpetrator. And a you black, yeah, it. yeah, yeah. I mean, it's like, it's, it's insane. Anyway, I'm mad at the New York Post for not using the, the correct headline, which would have been the purloiner of the sirloiner. <laughs> uh, this has got to really... Wait, wait, yeah, I got to see the guy without the mask. That might have been you, by it the way. I me. saw you eat ribs I, the other look, day. Look, you know who's really upset about this? The day after Mayor Adams tries to push <laughs> yeah. veganism, yeah. what happens? Here's a guy that's stealing a stack of steaks. I'm talking about a slap in the face with a T-bone. I mean, it's like, it's like, why aren't you stealing plant-based foods? Huh? Why don't you do that? Meanwhile, I mean, and the other thing, too, is there, Tom Cotton was, is investigating this arson sentence for this guy. Set fire to a pawn shop, oh. killed a person, yep. got a lenient sentence, a sentence cut in half because it happened during the George Floyd riots. So what's the lesson? Hey, if you want a better chance of getting away with a crime, like murder maybe, do it in a media or Democrat-approved insurrection. But if you try anything, like in a riot in D.C. on January 6th, if you happen to walk in, you're going to get five years. And this D.A. here, Bragg, what's going on with him? Did he walk it back? Is he scared? Which part? The, you mean his memo? Yeah, this crazy guy. Yeah, I think, that he, I think that he has realized that that's, it's not going to fly. You said something the first day we talked about him. You said New York will never stand for that. No, we won't. And I remember, cause I'm fairly new to New York, right? I've only lived, I, well, I've lived here 10 years, but it feels like I'm new. But when you Takes said 20. that, I thought, oh, okay. Um, I can see that where people are like, no, we're not going to deal with this in this way. And uh, Greg pointed out to me in the green room, that Al Sharpton is now complaining about the crime and saying oh and asking the mayor to do something. So really? I say one thing about so, Cory so Bush. It's, it's Al Sharpton yeah. and Bill Maher and the five. Yeah. We're all in agreement on everything. Yes. Wait, and why is Al Sharpton mad? 
Why? Because they, he, they lo it is Dwayne Reed, they lock up the toothpaste. Yeah. <laughs> Wait, what? Oh, yeah. that's why. You know what? He has he a point. He has that. a point. He has he a point. He said that. Everything's locked up. Have you gone to buy toiletries recently? Not in the Do city. You have to beat something, and then you have to say, you know, can someone help me? In that's why you just order from aisle? Amazon. Yeah. Al yeah. Sharpton's one of the smartest people in public life. I tell you, oh, oh. I've known it forever. <laughs> he is. Toroldo, I have is. to cut you off. And he's... <laughs> I think defund the police is the gift the uh, Democrats have given the Republicans. They won't stop giving. I mean, it is absolutely preposterous. Yeah. Right. It, uh, it is why they almost lost Congress last time around. It's why they're going to lose Congress this, this time, time around, around if they can focus on uh, uh, from, Republicans can stay focused. Uh, you know, I really think that what we need is we need more cops. We need more minority cops. We need better paid cops. We need stop, question, and frisk back. Uh, and we, we need to hold store owners like Trader Joe's responsible when they intentionally allow a thief to walk out and they do nothing to stop it. That only perpetuates this, this misery uh, and adds to, the, uh, to this epidemic. No lawsuit, They're afraid Rona. of being sued. But, but they should get sued by I the agree. municipality I agree. For, for encouraging, creating a climate of lawlessness. All right, everybody sues like everybody. That. Did yeah. you want to say Well, I just want to say about Cori Bush real quick. The reason that the Democrats are having to f figure out a way to distance themselves from her is because Speaker Pelosi gave her so much clout right. in the beginning. When, remember when she stayed the night on the Capitol steps and she wanted the illegal eviction moratorium to be extended. And Biden said, "There's we can't do this. And everybody knew that that would be the end result. They still allowed her to do that. That's why she has the platform that she has. They gave her it. All right. Yeah. Trader yeah. Joe's will be there in a little bit. Yeah. Not plant-based. Coming for the meat. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.